Okay, welcome back to XCOM 2. I don't know how I'm gonna cut things when I actually get to editing, but uh, in the middle of me explaining things of what I was wanting to do, my power went out. Uh, and so, unfortunately, when I reloaded the save, it actually re-rolled the reward, so we're not getting Dumont! And that makes me sad. Even if he was just gonna be a, a specialist again, that he's a war hero, man. He's a war hero, we're not getting him. Oh well. So we're gonna roll with uh, we're gonna roll with these four ladies. All uh, these three are in or have gifted for their combat intelligence, and obviously Rose is also a gifted lady. So we're gonna hope that by bringing these three rookies around, they'll be able to get a good level up. Unfortunately, I don't really want a sharpshooter, but there isn't really anyone else available who isn't tired. And I'm really not trying to get uh, people killed by making by making tired soldiers fight in like the third mission that we're doing. So we're just, we're just gonna bring Rose, and we're gonna hope that maybe we can get some decent sniper shots off on the Lost. And if not, well then, maybe we could pistol shot them. Because in the right position, you really can just hold the ground and survive. Sky Ranger deployed. It's Thanks just going to depend on our soldiers' accuracies, and unfortunately, they're a bunch of rookies, so... <laughs> yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Resistance scouting expedition led by one of their top people have found themselves stranded in the middle of an area known to be infested with the lost. They're holding their own for now, but it sounds like things are getting ugly down there. The resistance is asking that we do everything we can to extract their people. All right. So we're getting a the resistance expedition is trapped not far from familiar your position, kind of mission. The VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the loss. We only have one clear access point to the area, so get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. The whole place is overrun with lost. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Keep the path back. We're gonna see what we can do, Bradford, but we don't really have any choice out. about where we're gonna actually end up going. Although I can push forward and trigger a lost group. Wait. Are those... humans? It appears the alien devices dropped during the first invasion had a degenerative effect on these citizens, causing their physical and mental health to rapidly decay, while maintaining primitive organic functions. Approach with caution, Commander. They are certainly dangerous. Hold on, let's see if I can land a 65%. Nice! Okay. That, that, these are normal loss, so we're not really... I'm not really scared of them. And hey, look at that, they're dead already. So... That even that works out even more. We're gonna push up Got to it. here Moving. now. Moving to works out. Well even failed. now I have to try and reload her gun. Ah, snipers. That's a good start. Having my sniper actually be able actually landing shots makes me happy. Alright, so we're gonna try and get over to the expedition as soon as possible. But we're still gonna be a tiny bit safe with her actions, but you guys know me. We're... Sometimes we try to be safe and then we run into the enemies, and then sometimes we try to not be safe and then we run into the enemies, and at that point you just kind of, you just accept what fucking roles life has given you. All right. We've got a few enemies who are a decent distance away. I don't really need to shoot them. Especially since they're all at like three, three or two health. But any shots I can get is always helpful. All right, so we're gonna snipe at one of the further back ones. Target and then we'll push up and pistol shot them. Moving out. Headed there now. Positioning doesn't matter as much against the lost. 
as much. It still matters, depending on, like, like if we want to hold the ground, we could get up on top of here and we would be fine. Honestly, I could probably send my sniper up there. And that would be... It may work out. Okay. We'll headshot this guy. See how many kills we can land. Let's see. Two health. Two health. Two health is what we're aiming at. If I can manage, I would let Judy kill everything, but for the sake of Ready to engage. things, we'll let, let everybody else get some kills, too. Target neutralized. Enemies That's right. We got three rookies. We can rotate the shots. Kill confirmed. Moving to designated coordinates. Oh, That's quite a few zombies. How close are they? Uh, they're not close enough to be a threat, is, is my quick answer. Alright, so how am I gonna do this? Honestly, I was thinking of maybe send, lending uh, one of the... Letting one of my rookies stay by with my sniper, just in case my sniper gets overwhelmed. But, since I am going to have to pick up the other soldier, we're just going to have to make do. Good copy. Moving on target. Alright. These are normal loss, so they have to move a good distance away before they can actually hurt. Oh, that's a brute! Hey! That's not... That's not good. They have a lot of health. The expedition has limited ammo reserves. If that turret runs out, the lost are going to make quick work of them. We need to reach the group before that happens. Yeah, I'm... I'm working on it, Bradford. Come on. But, uh... We only had rookies. For some inane reason, you don't just have basic troopers already trained up. Hostile neutralized. So I gotta make do with what we have. Also, it's kind of amusing. We actually have two ladies with the last name Jones, and they have the same default hair color and kind of similar skin tones and things like that. So I'm just going to consider them sisters at this point. Shot Although Emily today. Jones just missed an 81%, I may or may not uh, kick her out of the squad. <laughs> you let me down, lady! Oh, this is bad. I need to kill everyone here and then shoot at the brute. Taken care of. It is a necessity. Target neutralized. I need ammo go. Okay. This might not go completely bad. Yeah. Okay. I just need Wasami to actually land this shot, and you know what? For the sake of things, okay. I'm gonna move her closer. Okay. Rock and roll. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. They're almost out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. Let's start pushing up. Confirmed. On the move. I'm on gonna leave move. my sniper on the high ground. And we'll probably... Depending on if we see any enemies over here, probably get on the high ground here too. Okay, that's not that bad. They have a good distance to cross. It is always scary to go around the corner and just, whoop, lost. But, I'm trying to be expedient. Rolling. Got it. Alright, we reload and hold the ground. And hope to God that we don't get a swarm spawning behind my sniper. Alright, good. The swarm is spawning near the objective. That's a lot of fucking loss, holy shit. So, VIP! Oh, their ammo's running out, technically, so that's... 
especially bad. Whoo boy. The turret just ran dry of ammo. They've got nothing to hold back the loss now. Menace one five, get to their position on the double. Oh boy. All right, how am I going to manage this? If I move up to this position, I'll have line of sight of them. Start whittling way. things down. Do we have anybody with four health bars? This jackass right here. Okay, then we're sniping him. Yeah. We do a minimum of four damage. So... That's what we're doing right now. We're clearing out anything... With four health, if I can see them. Which it doesn't look like it- there's one right here... That I can't see. Fuck. Alright, then we just fire away at other people. We'll just take the 89%. If only I had autoloaders. Man, there are so many times where, like, I did the first gate crasher mission, and I would get, like, advanced autoloaders or advanced expanded mags and things like that. But now, I just kind of have to put up with it. Alright. Here's where snipers will let you down <laughs> in a lost mission. Oh, whoops! I'm out of ammo, so I can't keep on firing at the fucking hundreds of them there are. It's all right. We have high ground on uh, high ground advantage on most of these lost, and only one of them, from what I can see, has four health. Hostiles pacified on reserves. That's all right. She's out of ammo, anyways. Overwatch. Kill confirmed. On reserves. Okay, keep shooting when we can. Kill confirmed. Now the lost Let that are around the corner from us. I'm not terribly worried about them. Since they have a decent distance to go. Got him. I am worried about this one down here, or these two down here, so let me. Let me move to a position where I can see them. Moving. All right, how am I gonna do this? There's actually, I think there's a second lost right down here. Yeah. Oh no. Enemy destroyed. That's it. I'm out. Reloaded. Well, we're gonna take some damage. Let's see if I can get the four damage shot here. Nope, didn't. All right. That's what I was worried about. Those angles, man. Those angles. All right. So it looks like. Oh, ah. I was gonna say. Maybe, maybe we can get a decent Overwatch shot on this. I realize now that I could have blocked off that way, but we're fine. Okay. I don't technically need to do this, but I'm going to anyways. Just for the sake of getting more XP for Judy Rose. The sooner I can get her leveled up, the better. And it's why we brought a sniper along anyways. So she can snipe. Alright. Back in. What do you have? Well, only three health. We'll be fine then. Hostile neutralized. Okay. We're gonna move Molly Jones up into the area. Okay. Now I think as soon as I activate it, a swarm comes in. Although, at this point, swarms are gonna come in anyways, so... I guess, man, that front! Moving out. On Overwatch. 
watch. Moving out. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Without the VIP manning the turret, Ooh, control, around the there's corner? nothing keeping the lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Did I put my people in Overwatch already? Oh my god. Right there. That's really bad. Alright, thankfully I didn't put my people in Overwatch. Just yet. I mean, I put the sniper in Overwatch, but she's not close enough to make a difference anyways. Oh, it's a dash with four health! Two dashers with four health! Oh, god. Just run, Imani. The VIP should really be able to carry the uh, the escort. It's kind of a, it's kind of a dumb thing. Like, oh, he's too, he's too tired. He's not a soldier. Okay, that's a good shot. Oh boy. Well, it's a good thing dashers only do like one damage, one or two. I did not expect there to be just a dasher squad immediately rushing around the corner just because I went to the objective. And we're gonna lose some health in this bit. It's mostly shenanigans though, just, just, really? Four health, man? We'll land the shots on him, it just doesn't fucking matter at that point. And... ow. Firebrand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Hey, buddy. That's a nice four health you've got there. Fucking hell. Yeah, I didn't All right. That's fine. That's fine. It's not a necessity. If I grab and run as far as I can, that's more of a priority. Alright, Emily, you can do this. You've trained for this. Enemies down. I mean, not My really. You're a rookie. That means you don't really have much of any training, but hey, you can still fire a gun. Dasher, dasher, dashers, dashers are important to take out. Okay, I guess it does, doesn't matter what we say. Wasame is a genius. Are you sure? Although that's mean, we should be fair. It's an 86% shot. Enemy she had good accuracy. It just wasn't good enough. Yeah, okay. We focused on the most important people. Also, we saw a brood in the distance with 7 health. That's not going to be pleasant. Yep, this is exciting. I can totally see the Lost doing whatever the fuck it is they're doing. <laughs> I mean, one of them dropped from the scene, so that's good of them. Dude, these dashes with four health really piss me off. A normal loss with four health? Fine. You could say that they're a little on the durable side. But a dasher with four health. The fast enemies with four health at the beginning of the game. I can only really kill them with like a ranger or a sniper. At least it's a 91%. It's gotten a little closer. It's down. Alright, what else can we do? Our priorities will be these dashers with four health. Enemy destroyed. Okay. Let's back it up a little bit. If I just outright dash. The Lost won't be able to follow us all the way out. Oh yeah, we gotta go through the building. Okay. We're gonna kill the closest Lost and then we're gonna dash out. Target eliminated. Negative. Weapons dry. Nailed him. Guns dry.
Do I get him here? Or is it a she? It's a him, I think? Uh, I don't know, Amani does sounds like a, like a, no, no, a female name. I think I just saw an enemy, no? No, we're good, all right, I thought I saw a red bar show up, that would've been bad. Yeah, okay, she doesn't see anybody. Run! Tempo! Now I could reload, fire again, and then back up, but we're just we're just gonna run. We're gonna catch Running. up with everybody. Reload my gun. Move up. I'm all over it. And we're green to go. And we're gonna overwatch. She's in a position where she can move down and catch up with everybody pretty much immediately next turn, so we'll see what we can do. I'm, I'm glad that sort of spawned all the way over there. It could have spawned right next to us. They do that shit all the time. Oh, whoa, behind this street lamp, though, an entire 20 lost just showed up. Okay, most of these dashers really didn't go very far. I don't even think I need to stay and try and fight. Oh, here comes one dasher. Can we hit it? No. No. No, we can't. Alright. What can we do here? I can only snipe the dasher. So fuck it, I'll snipe the dasher. Every little bit of XP helps! No longer a threat. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Got it. Moving. See? I'm not crazy, man. I keep seeing things flash up for like a brief second. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's probably just my soldier's health bars teleporting across the screen for a brief second. But it's scary stuff. On it. Double time. Okay. We can get out of here. We don't have to hold the line super hardcore. Not yet. Not yet. Oh boy. Menace one five. Keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. Getting it done. Yeah, I know. That's oh, why we're evacuating everybody. Location confirmed. And thank you, evac all mod. VIP secure and in position for evac. People kept on trying to tell me, oh, there is an evac all player already in the game, but it, they were wrong. Exactly the VIP escort. Liars. Up, he should be ready to rejoin the fight. The VIP is secure aboard the Sky Ranger. Let's get the rest of our people out of there, Commander. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. We successfully rescued the expedition, Commander. The Resistance will be happy to hear it. Alright. That went pretty okay. Besides the fact that one loss was actually able to get a hit in. Our enemy looks in the shadow. Plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the Elder's love for us, we shall prevail. No matter the cost. Oh, this is amusing. You can see the, uh, the escort is just taking a pose there as well. He was asleep. He woke up just in time to pose and then leave, apparently. Aliens sure know how to turn a planet into a Halloween theme park. Sweet! Zombie swarms. Just what we needed. Alright, now I expected all of my rookies to uh, get promotions pretty easily. Well, thankfully we were able to do this too. So what am I gonna do? Return fire is... Alright. But obviously long watch is pretty decent as well. Return fire! I shoot at people who shoot at me! Oh, yes, yeah, not- oh, that sucks. I was really hoping that 
Wasame. Our only other- our only genius person wouldn't be a sniper. Anything- literally any other class would have been helpful. Ranger, specialist, grenadier. But genius sniper... That means she's not gonna become super amazing until the later game. Well, at least we got- At least Emily Jones is... A ranger. If Molly Jones had been the ranger, I would've been really pissed off about having two injured rangers at the beginning of the game. That would've been ridiculous. You're stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Thank you, Geist. Okay. So now we have another specialist. So we have three specialists? That's amusing. Getting a specialist on a mission where we rescued a specialist. I would have preferred getting a grenadier, but RNG was not on our side for the roles there. A sniper and a specialist when I would we've have preferred a ranger and a grenadier. But before now, we've never had the resources to investigate the possibility of clandestine advent facilities built up outside the city centers. Now that we've gotten word of this black site, I have to admit, I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything in there. Absolutely anything. They could be having crazy parties and everything. Alright, so I think when I get the rapid excavation up, I'm probably going to use that on this alien machinery. And I can get a lot of bonuses. Uh, I don't need those particular supplies. I want to go for everything else. Cargo, and then the supplies. Because I believe this recovered cargo will give us awesome stuff. But we'll see. Maybe it won't give us all the things that it gave us last time. Okay, view room. I could build a... Guerrilla Tactics School in here. It probably would be a good idea. Uh... Oh yeah! I need the training center. Crap. Alright, for now, just Guerrilla Tactics School. Gorilla Tactics School construction initiated. Okay. While I could put the engineer on the Gorilla Tactics School, so that way we get it sooner rather than later, I'm actually gonna put the dude on this. Because when Rapid Excavation finishes, it should allow me to move on and use it on whichever one I want, rather than what's currently going on, I think. And that would be incredibly beneficial to me. All right, give me some cool stuff, you and I Carver, both Carver, know Cargo. We only had one other Sky Ranger commander. It's worse for wear, but this heap used to be Big Sky's pride and joy. And someone's been putting her to work. Nice. It may be possible to triangulate exactly where they took off from, but it'll take some time. Commander, these weapons are unlike any design I have previously encountered before. I could attempt further analysis, but the likelihood of us reverse engineering them appears low regardless. Remember what Tygen said. These new weapons are one of a kind. If we leave them on the battlefield, they'll be lost to us forever. It may be a little unwieldy, but in the right hands, this thing should cut down anything standing in your way. Alright. I'm always happy to get this. It's a nice bonus to have. The Boldcaster! I don't really care too much about it. Yes, it does a lot of damage, but having to reload when you only have like four soldiers capable of doing things could be deadly. So, what maybe when I have like f six soldiers, maybe five soldiers, that's when I'll start to use maybe the bolt caster. For now, we'll take that. All right, so I could get rookies. Rookies would be nice. However, I'm also really screwed on supplies at the moment. Hmm, uh, this is a hard one. Because if I get rookies at, and get them for free, I could get more genius people, and that would be great. Avenger so I'm gonna go course. for it. Just because, hey, well, uh, no. No, 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 no. Avenger Fuck the rookies. We want course. supplies. Even if it's only 50 supplies, it might help us out in the long run. Rookies might help us out in the long run, too. But this is a little Nothing bit more immediate. Oh, shit. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure. 
It's retaliation time! Oh my god, the first month isn't even over yet. Operation Setting Death Giant? For sector 10. Oh god, Eastern half my United people are States. injured or tired. That's bad. Alright. At the very least, we do have... A pretty balanced team here, honestly. Uh, Yeah, we'll take the sharpshooter then. I would have liked to have had my grenadier here. Actually, oh, there he is. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I would have liked to have had my grenadier here rather than sniper, but we, we do have the grenadier available. Hmm. But if I take my- no, she's tired from shooting so much. What to do? Snipers are nice to have sometimes. Just to, like, blitz out damage when you put them on the high ground, but only when they're on the high ground does it really ever come in handy. And sometimes you're just forced forward and forward and forward, so I, that's how I end up not liking the, uh, the snipers as much in the early game. Alright. So. We're gonna put the frost bomb on the Templar. The charges in this grenade don't seem all that powerful, but according to Shen, the liquefied gases inside should lead to an instantaneous freeze effect. So that way, if we need it, I can freeze a target, but I prefer not to have to bother. I may use the, freeze, the frost bomb on a faceless, since it is a weapon that we can reuse over and over again. We just can't make more of it! It's fine. It's kind of cheesy. I kind of feel bad when I, like, find a squad and freeze them with it. <laughs> and they just, they can't do anything. just picked up an emergency signal from one of the resistance camps. The aliens are sweeping the whole area, taking out anyone they can find. We're moving in to put a stop to it, and protect as many people as we can. Secure the site, and neutralize all hostile contacts. Alright. This and was the turning point in our first attempt. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. So we're gonna see how this goes for us. There now. And it looks like we're already running into an enemy squad. Because I can't swap characters. It would seem oh, Advent right has there. Begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide significant enhancements to whatever latent psionic energy they may have once possessed. Okay. I can rend things. So I'm probably gonna rend the Advent Trooper for a quick and easy focus gain. My rage. I mean, if I'm gonna have melee focused people... I might as well use it. Alright, I can also run over and slash this dude for a decent bit of damage. Four to six. Can anyone really mess him up? Hmm. 30%. Yeah, alright. We're gonna We're gonna slash the Advent Priest. We're gonna hope that there's no one to see this. Okay, five damage is pretty solid. Let's move into cover just in case. Even though it's not very likely that he'll shoot at us, he'll probably do something assholey like stasis us. Although it looks like he's stasising himself, that bastard. Holy shit, that's really far away. Oh no! Oh, and it's a sniper! Right on schedule. Oh, fuck us. What does he have? Can enter Overwatch upon ending their turn? That's fine. Defense increased after the first attack of every turn. Also kind of alright. Takes increased damage from close range attacks and has increased damage from Templars. Well, well that's a nice combination. I Shit, so that's two for two for retaliation missions having chosen on them. I don't the like that. Must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. We should try to track that thing down Wait a and second. deal with it before it causes too much trouble. 
Oh, okay, hold on. Okay. I, I was like, Dude, wasn't he in stasis? Yeah, he was. He just got out of stasis. And I was too busy being like, what's over there to realize it? Oh no! You bastard! Uh-oh. That's not good. I was just gonna go stab him in the face with my Templar. But now we have a problem. You really think you could hide from me? Shit. Okay. Going to designate a position. Now, I can rend a target to death. And that would give me parry, which is pretty good to have. But I need to free the priest. While also moving everybody up into range to be able to see it. Alright. So I could... Because we have a really low chance to hit, I may just use the frag grenade on him? To get the guaranteed kill. And then I could do other stuff. Because while I could use Scorch to rend the Advent Priest, I feel like that'd be a waste. I'd rather use it on the troopers. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? I can vault. That doesn't really jump around too much. Alright, Fubar. Your shot decides everything. Fuck us. Okay. Enemy is still up. Oh no. If I free my soldier here, if I free my ranger, I can kill one of the advent troopers. I really don't like using a grenade on this, but yeah, whatever. Get ready for a surprise! Fuck you, priest! I didn't get anything? That sucks. Okay. I'm going to stab an advent trooper in the face. So they can't do anything fucky on us. The sectoid He's gonna try and prefer other bullshit. I was really hoping the stasis would end. Your gods abandon you. Okay, and then we parry. We only need the commander alive. It's open season on the rest. Please don't. No, a faceless right there. Are you kidding me? That's fine. That's fine about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means Try and shoot me. Don't nope, that's out. not shooting me. That's probably mind controlling me. God damn it. Another of Ooh. Knowledge of a power they barely understand. That was nice. <laughs> He's shooting the civilian that bastard. It's getting a little ugly around here. I'm looking for you. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing he marked game. that guy. Because uh, I was already gonna just try and run away. All right. How can I do this? I can throwing axe the advent trooper for 68 percent. And four to six damage, or I could toss it at the faceless for 88% and chunk out half its health. Okay. What is my chance of hitting this thing? 72, 68. Okay. The faceless is a huge threat. But I don't 
think it's close enough to actually attack us in one turn. Because it has to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 tiles horizontally just to even move out. Yeah, okay. So I'm not worried about him. I'm going to throwing axe the advent trooper. It's almost a 70% shot. Ah, well. It was a waste. Because I can slash the fucking sectoid down, so I'm not worried about that. can catch your sister with the sword. And her sword's pretty fucking awesome. Oh, hey, I'm no longer panicked. Well, that's good. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rend this soldier. And then we're gonna put on parry, and that's gonna cause the Faceless to try and attack us. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Thank you. I do indeed like to kill Advent forces. Oh no, he's gonna try and attack me! Oh! Harried, motherfucker! They would try to take my confidence. Uh oh. You can't run, and you can't hide. That's fine. That is fine. Because if I can land this shot, we're just gonna move up a little bit. Because I gotta- I gotta get close to the hunter and start attacking him. He's over here. I don't know if momentum is triggered by kills or just doing damage. So I'm kind of- I'm kind of being wary about this. Okay! And if I parry... Or rather, if I rend, I can either parry or just move out of the way of the shot. You will learn to fear. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Faceless are pretty big. It's hard to... ignore that. <laughs> so... No, yeah, why don't you- why don't you come over and you fight me? Usually you say that, hey, why don't you pick out someone your own size? Because the person who's being the aggressor is bigger than the victim. But this time the victim is bigger than us and fuck you. you trying to make me all tripped up. All right. So we've killed two squads, but there's probably still at least one more. And then there's obviously a faceless somewhere. Heading to that location. So we got to watch out for that. We're gonna reload and move up. On the move. I trust in your command. Rolling. With all the build-up surrounding your escape, Commander, I was almost hoping oh. it wouldn't oh, be fuck. so quickly. It's not often I get to take down a legend. I suppose I will have to take comfort in the fact that this world will be mine when you fall. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a relentless tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Okay. I could vault him, but that would make me lose one of my focus, and I'm gonna keep that shit. We're just gonna get closer to... Guide my hand. And... I'm gonna hunker down just in case this is a fucking faceless. I've got help coming, Commander. Oh, this summon bullshit. This always trips me up, man. Oh! Oh, wait, no. I was excited because I'm like, hell yeah, he's grappling closer to us, but I'm pretty sure sometimes. he can move. What is he gonna do? Oh, please don't flanking shot, my ranger. 
That's... Ow! Looks like you the shot. I'm He's bleeding! You. Fucking what? Oh. Oh, it is fucking on. Wow, 68%? That low pro profile shit really screws with you. Shot wide! How many shots do you think you're going to get? Uh, quite a few, honestly. I'm gonna Good try, but it's... It sucks. I didn't realize how annoying that, that particular thing was gonna be. Can you just fucking hit him? Oh, I really don't want this to happen again. Let's try something else. What fucking garbage? I grappled over to you and Oh no. Okay, we parried against it. But that means I'm still gonna be exposed. Never offered up an entire planet as a bounty before. You must really be something special, Commander. Okay. We're gonna do something here. I have a suspicion about some stuff. Oh my god. Where you dig that thing up? It's probably older than you are. Okay. What do I want to do here? Okay, so what I was trying to do, I think Ren... I don't know if Ren can miss. Because it, it always has 100%, whereas the sword attack has like 88%. And so what I was going to try and do there was use Emily Jones to slash the hunter with an 88%. And then when he tried to do the low profile shit, if Ren keeps at 100%, then I was just going to laugh. But now I can't do that. So, fuck. We're gonna put an aid protocol on Emily Jones, because she's about to have some trouble. And now we're gonna go stab the hunter. I will tear you apart. Two health! Two health if I could have just hit the other shot. Come on! Shoot at Scorch! Oh, he's gonna shoot a civilian. I'd rather have that, honestly. Let's try a new angle. Oh boy. My oh my god damn, dude. Not a very clean shot, I'll admit. I'm ready and waiting. So go ahead, Commander. Impress me. This is fucking ludicrous! Okay. I have to stabilize my guys. I don't care. Do your damage, dude. You suck so much. I fucking hate you. One shot it. Two of my fucking people. That's such bullshit. I'm just... I'm really yes, pissed I off about this. You, Commander. And here I thought the elders were just exaggerating. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that Chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, All right. at least we ruined their plans to We're gonna overwatch. 
Damn it. Come on, focus. Oh no, please don't do four damage, man. Cause I'm gonna call some massive shenanigans if he does four damage. Okay. They come for me. Stabilize Emily Jones. Now we're gonna stab this guy in the face. I strike all my something here. You will torment us no longer. Hey, stock. I have what we needed. I'm not a fan of stocks. They're pretty alright in the early game, but like the, the one damage stock is kinda like it's, it's kinda like a pity party. Okay. We are gonna stay right fucking here. Yes, come on. We are just gonna chill out right here. And we're gonna let the faceless run to us. Thankfully the faceless can go pretty fucking far, honestly. We're gonna freeze the faceless, cause fuck everything about the faceless. I can also... Yeah, let's see how much damage I can do with Fubar's shot, cause if I do five damage, I can take it out. Maybe. Alright, fine. That's okay, because you know what I just realized? Now that I know that Rend activates momentum even without kills, I can just sit here and parry. Thank God parry is a pretty quick thing to unlock. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Feel the power of the Templar. <laughs> I'm so mad about that chosen one-shotting two of my people. Oh my Christ! Up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Great job, Commander. We sent the chosen back to their masters with a few scars to show for their effort. If they decide to face us again, we'll be ready. Ugh. I don't know what to do about that. Boy, That's a really powerful thing I to do. To you with a heavy heart. Advent outreach forces were ambushed earlier today while spreading their mess. You said the same thing the last time you did a retaliation. You televised that you were going to do an attack, and then you're like, "We were this ambushed." Show that the chosen are vulnerable, and we can take them down. We just have to figure out how to keep them down. Ay ay ay. Okay. I don't, uh... I don't even know what I want. We'll probably just take Shredder, so that way, when we do encounter enemies, we can take out their armor. What can we do here? 17 AP. Lightning Hand is alright. Rend attacks have a 33% chance to generate focus. Eh. <laughs> that makes it a little bit... Nicer to use rend attacks on enemies without guaranteeing the kill. But I'd rather use some other something else. Oh, uh, let's see. Knocking them back in the direction of the attack. Summon a pillar of psionic energy to act as a high cover point. Lightning hands, fire my pistol for free action. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go for lightning hands. Just get possibly free three to four damage, maybe five by the end game. Because I don't really care about Pillar, or Stun Strike, or Overcharge. I understand they're probably pretty good. A few people have been telling me that Pillar is really nice. Uh, I mean, it's full cover. <laughs> you know, it's high cover. So, being able to generate that's cool. But, you can only ever have a max of three focus. And I don't want to use one of my focus points on just, here's some high cover, guys. Alright. At the very least, because of the Chosen, we get to have a, uh... We get to have mi the mission not result in too many civilian deaths. They kill, like, maybe a couple of them. 
Demonophobia. Chance to panic when encountering a chosen. It was talking like it was one of us. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. He did get, like, he got fucking one shot. He got knocked unconscious, bleeding out on the ground because of the chosen and grappling up to a position. Courtesy of our XCOM forces in the field. I never get tired of hearing that. The <laughs> Advent propaganda machine is running full steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So we have a bond between Fubar and Jerry. Or Gary? Shoot, I don't even know. But hey, Specialist Templar. Doesn't sound like that can really go wrong. Create a, po a picture. Kaz and Kerrigan. 2Ks. Alright. 2K. <laughs> hey, hey! 2K published this. Let's change up our poster things a little bit. Now, I don't like when things get kind of obnoxious in color, like, ah, oh, we're gonna go bright yellow, and then we're gonna do bright purple as well. I'm not really into that kind of aesthetic, so we'll, we'll just go... a little bit more into the darker areas here. Yeah, no, this works out. Even if it's not really any of their color palettes, the red versus yellow, we're fine. There you go. Kaz and Kerrigan. They don't need anything super special for the level one bond. Do we have any fallen soldiers? Not yet. We're getting pretty fucking close though. <sighs> All right. We can skip this. We saw that Commander, successfully. You should establish contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. And just where do you think you're going? If it's a fight you're after, you better bring everything you've got. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. <laughs> Dr. Valenture wouldn't be happy about Advent's reckless use of explosives. Uh, whatever she'd people reprimand us. And now the resistance can take on more responsibility. Wow, these suck. These both suck. I mean, this is... This, if I was going against the Warlock, at least this would be nice. And obviously when you're going against Sectoids and Priests, that will still be alright, but... In comparison to having... Like... Resistance Orders that give you more resources... More damage and all this, this is... This is really specific. Ugh. Alright, at least I can deploy soldiers here. Uh, add faction hero to the XCOM rank, but I need a sergeant for that, which I don't have just yet. I could get a sergeant. We just have to send Fubar out on a mission. Actually, we do have a sergeant. He's just wounded. Ah, oh, well, alright. Okay, so by the looks of it, we're just gonna have to go and grab the Reapers. We have a 14 day versus 12 day. Yeah, we'll just get the Reaper. Just, just, might as well. We'll still send Fubar out on the mission because, hey, plus five hacking is nice. Plus he's gonna be a little bit tired from that last mission anyways. Who else can I send out on that? Uh, we'll send... Emily T. Emily Taylor. Here you go. Good luck out there. <laughs> 